after this moment has passed, our leadership will continue to, to hope and look for another answer. We are working around the clock and will update you with any news. The world may be in chaos, but the voice of reason still speaks. So look to your families, stay calm, and know more information will soon be available. husband's always been an optimist. But unfortunately, there's no hope to be had. God bless America. Empty. Fired. You know, I never thought I'd say this, but I'm tempted to drink it. What's the point of survival now? It's just me. These useless things. The end of the world. I really thought I'd have it figured out by now. Join the Air Force, wear a uniform, know exactly what you're supposed to do, where you're supposed to be all the time. Trust people. How am I supposed to have it figured out when the world doesn't have it figured out? <sighs> Whose orders am I taking? Who am I giving my trust to? <laughs> the ruined cities? The Sodans? It's just me. Wear a uniform, wander around. Don't drink the expired water. <laughs> Carry your empty gun and try not to shoot yourself.
So then he got, he dives right in, almost right. hitting his head, pops <laughs> up and says, what the hell was that about? I so, remember <laughs> that stupidest thing your dad ever did, just yeah. diving for it. <laughs> that one never gets old. Uh, you've told me that story so many times before though. You got any new ones? No, but the classics, they die hard. Well, we'll see what the future brings us, but until then, same old story, same old song, right? Mm-hmm. Hey, we got a meeting with the general in the morning. I really hope it's you and not me. I'm not ready for another mission yet. I, but I just don't think it's something I could handle. So you joined the army to do what? Peel potatoes? Come on, man, get your head in the game. I got your back, always. I've been watching the news and it doesn't look good. The general says that our division has a plan, but I just hope we can all make it. Even if the bunkers can fit everyone, I don't know if we can- Hey, are you forgetting? Hello, how are you? I'm good. Sorry, I, I just get stuck in my head sometimes. What are you up to? Mm, nothing much. Just praying for the end. You're joking, right? Of course I am, silly. Sometimes joking's the only way to get your attention. Okay. What if the plan falls through? Honestly, I don't know. Not the most hopeful answer. Well, sometimes doubt is all we have, but I know we'll get through this somehow. I know we can't drink the water and rations are low, but we still have one another and a simple grasp on what we can cope with. Oh, is the optimist? Want me to grab a cup of tea? Yeah, I'd love that. But, um, one thing before you go. Just promise me you won't listen to everything the general says. He tends to exaggerate sometimes, and I really don't want you getting hurt. Oh, you're awake. Good. I thought you might never wake up. Put the hits in your head to get it out of here. I don't know if that headache you're working on. I'm sorry. Who are you? Hmm. Questions. Who are you? I'm Lieutenant Adeline McKenzie, 69th Division, Air Force, USA. You know, you remind me of those dopey heroes in those old movies. Anyone ever tell you that? My dad was more of a movie guy. Now you know who I am. Your turn. None of your business. You name rank, so you're number three. Okay, fine, don't tell me. You know, you might want to put that gun away. With a weapon that big, it sort of ruins your whole uh, mysterious vibe. Normally, I'd kill you. I'd love to kill you. To gut you like an animal. Once life had value, but you threw it all away. Humanity is gone. Fine, but why do you want to kill me? Simple-minded people like you are the reason why we're here. You speak so kindly for a human traitor. Too bad kind words never saved anyone. So according to you, compassion means cruelty? Maybe I should kill you. It's been quite some time since I've killed anyone. I'm unarmed and tied to a tree. It would be barbaric to shoot me. I'm completely defenseless. You wouldn't- If you were defenseless, you'd be on your knees begging for mercy. 
You're a soldier. You live and die by your honor. If you had it. Right, you know. She's a traitor. She's the reason why humanity's dead. It doesn't matter anymore. Hate, politics, war, doesn't matter anymore. What matters is survival. You know, death hasn't made you any wiser. Even now you side with traitors. You re remember what you taught me? Remember when things seemed to be the hardest? You can always just trust. So much for trust. You still walked out on your very simple gift. You left me to die and now you try to give me advice? Thanks for nothing. You're walking out on her the same way I did to you. That would make you know better than me. Perhaps if you weren't such a dick to her. I don't trust your advice anymore. Stop trying to give me your useless words. You know I'm only just responding in your mind the way you think I would respond if I was here. Had I known the world was gonna come crashing down, I would have stayed by your side. But you didn't. You died failing a mission, embarrassing yourself in front of the whole world. I heard the radio reports. Crash down and then nothing. Simply chaos. All I can say, Ava, is life seldom takes us where we want to go. But, you know, this could be a gift. I mean, you were alone and now you're not. But you still have a long way to go. Killing her is wrong. And you can't drag her ass clear across the countryside. You can only kill her if she ends up betraying you. Look, I know you don't want to hear this from me, but you can't give up on hope. I miss you. I'm glad you're doing the right thing. Judge because I let you live does not mean I trust you. Let's make something very clear. If it comes down to you or me, you know exactly who I'll choose. If you try anything, I'll put a bullet through your head. Or your heart. Or anywhere I feel like putting it. I'm a marksman and a damn good one. 37 kills. Take a look. A long, hard look. Okay, I get it. And you're hoping I'll be lucky number 38. By the way, my friends call me Addy. Friends? You think we're friends? I've known you for what, an hour? Half of which I had you tied up? We're not friends. Not even close. You'll be dead in a day or two. Well, I look forward to getting to know you and sleeping with one eye open. Fear keeps you alive, right? <laughs> We're going that way. You go first. You made a good meat shield. 
Thanks. I guess. Someone threatens you and you say thank you? Well, yeah. Thank you. Shut up. You're welcome. Last two bottles. Got to ration it. How'd you come by these days? Alcohol does the job. If you can find it. Well, maybe the next town over we'll have supplies. Maybe. All the goods of butter left in the bunkers. They fought over every last bit of food. Get with the bodies and you're fine. You know, it's really a shame we got to this state. I miss the days when you could just wave to your neighbors. That's a nice sentiment. But don't let it hold you back. You gotta keep moving. Coming? Yeah. Where are we headed? Can you tell me? Not that city, right? No. But in order to get to Eden, we have to go through it. Eden? That's not ideal going through an abandoned city. Even if it is real, we should go around it. If we do that, we'll add four days to our journey. So, no. Okay. So I guess there's really no other way around it. Through it is. Fools first. So please. a window. Let's get a move on. This reminds me of better times. I'm so happy for you. Come on, let's go. Sometimes it's nice to stop and remember. You hear the sound of that? That's the sound of death. We all die alone. We're never alone. You will be. I'm headed this way. So either you come with me, or you die looking at your normally round face. It's more of a heart shape. You're dismissed, Adeline. Deliver equalizer to a water supply and return unharmed by the enemy. We know the enemy does not want a solution. They love the chaos the poison the water supply has created. You are the hope of humanity. Everything lays on your capable shoulders now. You depart at zero eight hundred hours. Adeline will be flying beside you. Need some rest. Please you. I knew you would 
ready for the task. Joining the flock is a serious and rewarding matter. It takes time, concentration, and most of all, dedication. None of what you have. You see, sacrifice holds true to his words. You are a natural born coward, forged in the reins. Keep what faith you have. Keep it to yourself and live in shame. For you are the master of lies. Come on. Are we really going to train aimlessly or are you going to tell me what's going on? You know, it would be more effective if you punched harder than a small child, sweet. Seriously, you got to put some weight behind it. Sweetie? Really? We've been going out for what? Six months and you really think calling me sweetie? Is gonna stop you from trying to figure out what's going on? Really? Well, six months, six weeks, it's all the same to me. Besides, I, uh, never mind. No! Come on! Tell me. It's nothing. Look, you can't handle the tough stuff all the time. And besides, I'm not allowed to talk about it. The commander can't be seen giving out classified information to just anyone. That's better. Left, right. Left again. You know what? <sighs> Never mind. I'm gonna switch. You didn't mention how you fix your form. I always knew we were full of shit. Our troops are deserting. There's nothing left. There's barely anyone. We're both still here, aren't we? Look, those bunkers aren't gonna last. <laughs> we have to do something. Bunkers. People will cling to anything. <laughs> no matter how futile. They put their faith in what they thought to be a leader. There are no leaders when the world is falling apart! So this is it, huh? Some time. They're not so surprised. I guess angry. We just have to do it then. This is pretty good. I'm taking it with me. You may have given up, but I have. It? You're not gonna try anything else? I, I know what you're going to say. We tried everything, there's nothing left to try. But you have to keep on trying. You want to tell them that there's still hope? Please do. You go on live television and tell them the four letters to say. to prepare for tomorrow. I'll open it later. Anthony, I spent time thinking this out for you. You might find it useful. You know I never earned this. It's a gift. You don't have to earn it. Then you keep it. This is supposed to be a nice night. I haven't seen you all week and you can't give me one night. I can't do this anymore. This isn't working. We're done. Over. Finished. Have a nice life. What's left of it, that is. Anthony, you can't. It's Christmas. You need to rest. 
stay here. I was scout on the head. It's just a scratch. Nothing at all. I got this. Fine. Start a fire and trust no one. And be wary of lives. Your words. I know. Already done. I don't trust you. <laughs> you can never escape from your mind. It cannot be achieved. Living feet. Time has consumed your soul. You seek what you cannot have. You can never escape from your mind. Is your projectile, 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 is your disagreement about our past. You know, you don't have to verbalize every time that pops into your head. I was the carrier for the cure. I was preparing for a landing when a plane came into my sight. One of ours, flying aggressively. I had the opportunity to shoot it down, but I kept thinking, what if I killed one of our own? So I didn't. And they started firing on me and I just... The pilot on that mission was not well suited for the job. Don't blame yourself. I let my compassion control me. I had one job, I was his wingman. I was supposed to have his back and I didn't. Now here we are, sitting by a fire, discussing my failures. The world had no help. You are one of the most positive people I think I ever met. It's repulsive. Yeah, you made your decision. But I don't blame you for it. Neither should you. If we're both guilt ridden, this row is gonna be far too long. So forget your past. It doesn't help to remember anything. You're just being kind because you're tired. The road, if the world was different, maybe we could be ourselves. In the meantime, get some sleep. I'll keep watch. I don't know if I can sleep, but I'm sure as hell gonna try. You are kind. Watch yourself. Now go to sleep before you piss me off. Demon had won the fight, and it was a fight. The enemy is tough, and resistance flyers fly through our skies. But we got this. Can you think of a better team to make this flight? I'm not so sure you're right for this mission. You'll mess it up somehow like you do everything else. I watched your last mission go down all because you couldn't take a shot. You're a coward, and you'll most likely get me killed. It was one mission! I didn't take that shot because I didn't want to kill people. You never fight alone. 
We all support you to the end. Never give up. Never give up. The instant second you give up, everything you care about slips away. care too much. That's not a bad thing. If this mission goes south, then it's all on you. And this is more than just a few lives. Look! You should probably grab a beer before we turn in. It's not good to go to bed angry. You just don't get it, do you? You care, but you don't understand. You can't walk around like that and expect to operate in society. I swear I don't know what anyone sees in you. You're the one that always says yes, never no, letting all the weak women and children into the bunkers. You're the definition of human weakness. Enjoy your solo beer. There's nothing wrong with being kind and helping people. Then the problem is you. Anthony! Come on, man, don't leave it like this. Let's just talk. Anthony! You need some rest. I'll take watch. All right. Sleep it is. We'll get going first thing in the morning. Maybe you are a little trustworthy. Just don't touch the gun. I'll try to be a little easy on you. Bless you, by the way. Thanks. No problem. freeze up. You keep moving. You don't stop. You knew exactly what the danger was. If you want me dead, just let it all ready. Put your gun out. Shoot me. Take the shot. You can't hesitate. One moment of weakness can cost us everything. But I don't want to kill you. You, you won't save me either. I froze. Everyone does that. You don't do that to me. That is how we die. You're on your own from now on. And because you have no guts, I'm taking away your gun. So good luck. Next time, use your kindness to kill. Hey, give her another chance. She won't survive without you. Yeah, she froze, okay? What if you did? Would you deserve to be deserted by a friend? I live solo. I always have and I always will. I never needed anyone or just hell don't need you. If I even catch you following me, I'll kill you. Look! Fuck off, Mark! Let's go. Oh. oh, I tell you, sometimes you do need to get, get a break and get away from everything. It's only Monday. Well, yeah, but sometimes you need to get a different perspective. Hey, what are you drawing? Nothing. Oh, come on. I promise I'll be your biggest fan. Big frog. Pray for the end. You're okay? We thought we lost you. First, the poison water, and now you're lying about the painkillers that you're taking. You can't keep poisoning yourself. 
We're glad that you're feeling better, but when are you, you going are to be realistic and let us help you? You can't fight this alone. I can do this. We'll get through this. You don't understand. If you don't let us help you, we can't fight anymore. We can't carry on. We can't hope anymore. Do you? you can never escape. <laughs> We may not have much. We may not have much. But we, we have a have future. Much. We have a future. Have so please, so, please. so just wait for me. So just wait. He's not ready yet. Nice. Sometimes I guess you need to change your perspective to understand your own. Maybe it's good she's miles away. Is a traitor. She wants to kill us. You know this how? I saw the dream and she, she was hurting you me. You fell down a ravine a ways back. I carried you until here. You've been out for three days. Barb took care of your wounds. She used to be a nurse at a mental ward. You're lucky to be alive. I was so sure she would betray us. You're offending our guest. The one you insisted came along. Sorry, Barb. Sunshine and Rainbow doesn't like you anymore. No offense taken. Look, it was a, it was a dream. Dreams pass in time. I assure you, I mean you no harm, and I'll keep taking care of you. Maybe it was just a dream. Anyway, I can walk. Should we move? Hey, if you need more time to rest, I can stay and defend you. We're all that's left. I guess you're right. And we need to stay positive no matter what dreams say, right? Ava, I can walk. Should we move? Yes, we should. Okay, I'll lead away. Meet Shield. Ahoy, ah! You're injured. I'll go first. Barb, make sure it doesn't fall down any more cliffs. Of course. I'll scout. I'm sorry for thinking poorly of you. Thank you for your help. Hey, you shouldn't drink the expired water. It fucks with your mind. It was drinkable. May 7th, 2025. 2024. Go, take it easy. 